Today I want to just show a very quick example of a best fit line that uh, we want to fit to data points using an exponential equation. So we need to find the a and the b values um, for this equation. So we want it in the format y equals ae raised to bx. And how are we going to do that? Um, we're going to use the least squares method, which is easy. It doesn't require any fitting toolboxes or anything for MATLAB. It's very, very easy. But in order to use that, we need to linearize the equation, which is very easy. So we're just going to say lin y on this side equals lin a plus lin e raised to bx. And we can do that because of the um, properties of the logarithmic function. And obviously e raised to the bx lin is just equal to bx because you can put that in front and lin e equals 1. And from there we can use our least squares method, uh, least squares method as we did for straight lines or second or third degree polynomials using polyfit or without using polyfit. I'm going to just show that with a least squares method. Okay, so first of all let's plot our, our points. So I'm going to say hold on, grid on, plot x, y, and we'll use blue circles. And we can see that we've got our data points that has exponential growth. Um, so we want to fit our line. Obviously, it's not going to be a perfect fit because of these points are a little bit scattered, but that is the point of um, using this method. Okay, so how are we going to do that? First of all, we want to create uh, the equations in the form lin y equals lin a. We must just remember that it's, we're going to work out lin a and not a. So we need to just raise that to e to the lin a to get back to a um, plus b x. All right. So how are we going to do that? We first need to recreate our, our y values so that it's equal to lin y. So we're going to say b equals uh, log, which is the lin in MATLAB, if you put that to 10, that will be log, uh, log 10, or if you just leave it, it's going to be lin. And these are our values, our new B values that we're going to use in our equations. Then we're going to create a matrix A equals, I'm just going to say ones, 8, 1. That is going to be our A value, or the lin A value. Um, and this is just going to, we're just going to put the x values here. So we want to find the coefficient b. So if I run that, that's how the matrix looks. We just got ones and then the x values on this side. And then the least squares method is very easy. We're just going to say a n equals a transpose times a. And b n equals a transpose times b n. Uh, times b, sorry. And then the solution x n using the Gaussian method is simply going to be a n sort of divided by b n, the Gaussian method for finding the solution. And it's as easy as that. So we've got our lin a value and we've got our b value as is. And then to put it uh, to draw to draw a line, we just need to create our equation again. So I'm going to say x x. I'm going to create new x values lin space from one to 8 and then to draw it we're going to say y1 equals now the xn1 value is lin a so if we just want to get uh, a we need to raise it e to the lin y so exponent x1 times then e to the bx. So exponent or exp x in 2 times our x values which I just created the xx and then we can plot that and we'll make it red. So that should give us our best fit line. For the exponential function it looks quite nice but obviously we want to work out the error um, which is a little bit different for the exponential function, so I'll just show you how to do that. So we'll say um, we need to create our points again using these x values. So let's say y fit points, a 
according to our equation equals what we've got here copy and paste so um, using our x values we'll get the the points that we get from our new equation using a and b so that is what it should be according to our equation and to get the error you simply take error equals y fit points minus the original y and that should give us a, a good idea of our error for each of these as you can see this one probably 7 has got a 38 error so this one is too low this one is too low the line is actually too high this should be a minus because the line should be too low 3 minus 20 and it's as easy as that to fit the line you just need to linearize the equation and then you can use the least squares, squares method to find the solution for a and b and you can use that to draw your best fit line and also work out your error.